Will it just pop up in our feed or do we have to refresh? Yeah, it'll, you don't have to refresh. Well, you have yes, to refresh. Yes, live now. Yeah, I think we have. Okay, now we're live. Okay, good, good afternoon here from uh, sunny California, not. Because uh, we are having what's called a bomb cyclone. I don't know what they're carrying on about. It's just a bit of rain, as far as I know. Well, that's the way it's I think it's Well, you know. It's not really snakes. I, I've sailed through a lot of these, so it's no big deal. <laughs> All right, um, but everybody got here nice and, uh, you know, the usual complaints, but be safe out there. Enjoy the rain. We need it. Uh, for today's show, live at 5, live at 5.15, sorry, we had technical details. Uh, I'll say due to the weather, <laughs> because our sound guy wasn't able to get here, so it is due to the weather. All right, uh, shout out to Daniel out there, man. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for helping last few seconds. Uh, Modesto Brazania on trumpet. Good. Yes. Uh, Jeff Saxton on double bass. <laughs> this is actually the regular crew. This is our, uh, original, our, our original, the original Sunday crew from uh, Jeff's backyard. Uh, on the drums, the wonderful, the, the San Jose Flash, uh, Sylvia Cuenca. And uh, on the piano, the great Keith Saunders. And uh, we're going to kick off, uh, play a few tunes, and then it's going to be a bit of a jam session. There's a few people coming over, even in the rain, because people want to play. That's a good thing. All right, so uh, let me see. Um, that's what I said, let me see. Oh, <laughs> let me see. We're going to start off with the Duke Ellington composition. Up here is Venmo and PayPal, right up the back there. Sorry. It's, it's there, it's easy to see. Venmo, Spade Jazz, and PayPal, Andrew Spade 824. Or if you want, you can go to my email, Andrew Spade at mac.com. Uh, it all helps, and uh, me and Jeff have been kind of funding this extravaganza for quite some time, and I totaled up some bills today, and it's a hell of a lot of money. But it's for a good cause, right? Awesome. We're going to start with the Duke Ellington composition. Best way to start on a rainy day. This is CJM Blues.
few brave souls here. <laughs> it was good to see. Um, let me see. That was, of course, Duke's Place, uh, Sea Jam Blues. But we just played it in B flat. <laughs> anyway. Uh, all right, so uh, what are we going to do now? Oh, this is a wonderful Tommy Flanagan tune. I don't know how many of you know about Tommy Flanagan, but he is one of the most underrated of the beboppers. I mean, he's known very well for uh, accompanying vocalists. He's an incredible accompanist, but in the uh, early to late 1950s, he was kind of the, the most uh, pianistic, especially around the, uh, the right hand. And that's why John Coltrane got him on that album, Giant Steps, because it was some tough music for everybody at the time. So uh, this is one of his tunes. Uh, it's off an album called The Cats by... Uh, it's his album? Is it his album? Tommy Flanagan? I think it's a Tommy yeah, Flanagan album. It's called The Cats. With Idris Silliman and John Coltrane. Uh, it's called Eclipso. Thank <laughs> you. 
not rehearsed. Oh my god. Uh oh. <laughs> Technology. God damn. Alright. Uh, what are we gonna fuck? Oh, okay, so this is a, uh, just a little piece by Charlie Parker. We try and play some, some like, uh, hardcore stuff from the masters every week. Not that Thomas Lanigan's a master, or Deuce for that matter, but, but like, uh, the Bebop masters are, are people like uh, Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie and Thelonious Monk, Bud Powell, the first generation of Beboppers. Um, and they were kind of all born in the early 1920s or even late teens. Um, and then the next generation kind of came about with people like Miles Davis. And in the, in the, I think he was born in like 1926, something like that. Anyway, so. Um, so this one is uh, this one's an interesting com composition by Bird because uh, it's contrapuntal, like it's like some some writing of Bach, but of course it's actually much hipper. Sorry for all those people back there, but he was a pretty current guy. So as much as he loved Bach, he loved Bird more. So this is called Chasing the Bird.
chasing the bird. Someone was chasing the Oh, that was Miles Davis chasing the bird. Right? I get it now. Ah, all right. Uh, we're going to play uh, a ballad. This is called Don't Blame Me. Miles is always chasing. Thank you. 
accept no responsibility. You like like a president, you know. <laughs> All right. So, uh, um, let me see. We're gonna play a tune by Dizzy Gillespie. Uh, he changed the world with this one because, like, he started putting uh, some Afro-Cuban stuff in uh, in the music. Not not not, not that he wasn't the first one, because everybody goes back to Duke and they say, "Well, you know, what about Duke?" But like, he he made a way to work out what happened with the modern jazz cat. So this is a tune called Manteca, and then we got a jam session. We got a lot of good musicians here, so we will have some some of their pyrotechnics because we need the heat.
All right. You see, uh, it's pretty intense in this room. <laughs> All right, uh, again, that's Modesto Brezegna, Jeff Saxton, Sylvia Cuenca, and Keith Saunders. And we have uh, a few, uh, well, they're all my students, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's about to become saxophone madness, but that, that means, Mo, you got you got to hold these guys down, man. Hold them accountable, all right? What are you guys going to play? Really? Every honeybee? No, no, it's not like that. I want to go correct it. Oh, it's okay. Uh, all right. Uh, Gavin and Jonathan. And who's up there in the back? Oh, uh, Will. Yeah, that's right. And... Uh, and uh, this is a, a wonderful tune, uh, and more people should play it. Um, it's a Thomas Fats Waller tune, and he played some of the hipper stuff. So this is Honeysuckle Rose. What time are you going to go? Thank you. 
turning on Marvel Ray. Um, uh, <laughs> softly, as in a morning sunrise. Okay, uh, this is an overused jam session tune because tenor players love to play it forever. And we got two tenor players up What's here. What's wrong with the alto player knows the best tricks? And the alto player called it. So, and the reason why they do that is because Coltrane did it. But that, the good thing about that is because he did it, we don't have to do that. Right. Done. <laughs> um, and, and so, and so my, uh, my message to the rhythm section is please don't turn this into a modal tune. Let's keep it like on it. Hey, yeah. Did you pedal through the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Da, 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 ba, ba, da, 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 C minor? C minor. Okay. One, two, oh, one, two, three, four. <laughs>
All right, we're going to finish off with one more number. That's uh, Live at Five on a uh, weather-beaten Sunday night. <laughs> not weather. <laughs> Australia has weather. This is not weather. <laughs> and the East Coast has weather, right? This is not weather. Yeah, everybody like there's a little bit of rain on the road and everybody's crashing their cars and all sorts of things. Like funny stuff. Oh, it's a lake, yeah. So buy a boat. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So um, that's where we are. Uh, Jonathan on the alto saxophone. Oh. Gavin on the tenor saxophone. Will. William. Or Will. What do you like? Uh, you don't. He likes money. money. <laughs> he likes money. These are s these are some old guys. They use this all all this old equipment. That's why they sound so good. There's a lesson in that for everyone out there. Um, <laughs> don't buy new stuff. Um, we, lo we love giving lessons here. So um, don't do this at home. <laughs> and don't do anything you can't do on a motorbike. <laughs> All right, we're going to finish with one shorty. Real short. A short, quick one. Uh, Keith had to stretch his legs because it's like flying in here. You know, what Let you me get? tell you something. It's not easy. I'm 61 years old. <laughs> hey, see? Hey, Junior. You see? That's how it gets. It gets like that. And I, like, I've got to contain. It's like, you've got to fly with this guy. Oh, my God. He's up and down the aisles, up and down the aisles, up and down. I'm exercising. I'm exercising. <laughs> Deep vein thrombosis. Does that mean something to you? No. <laughs> Doesn't mean anything to me either. <laughs> it's all about high blood pressure for me. All right, we're going to finish with Sonny Rollins. Uh, the changes to that. All right. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that's what I keep forgetting to do every night. Tune up. It's important, right? It's important. All right. Um, hold on, people.
Jonathan, Gavin, yeah. Will, and our stellar rhythm section. And, and these guys are privileged because I only have the best rhythm section, literally. Because I have to play with any sad people anymore. Unless they're students, then I make all the exceptions. <laughs> That's the reality. It, like, if you want to play magic music, you got to have the right people. That's kind of rule one. The right tunes and the right people. The rest takes care of itself. So the magic triangle tonight is uh, Jeff Saxon on the bass. Yeah. And uh, he, he, he played incredibly well tonight. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, every once in a while I get lucky. <laughs> no, 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 no. We, well, I just, I, I just did a big build up on why I had the best rhythm section. So yeah, yeah. So now you have to. Yeah. yeah. Keep, keep it up, brother. <laughs> Use the bag or whatever you need. Um, <laughs> Sylvia Cuenca on Woo! the drum. Myself. Who just, I mean, she's hustling gigs. She drove all right across town in that weather, right? Just, just for, just for you out there. And, uh, and yeah, she always deals. You know, we need that. And then on the piano, the one and only Keith Saunders. The hater. Let me tell you something. <laughs> All right, thanks very much. Tune in uh, next week, uh, another Live at Five. You never know who's going to turn up because I never know who's going to turn up. All right, Andrew Spade, good night and good luck. Thank you. <laughs>